All right, let's get into the, another corner. This one's called Antigua Lashes U.S. Sanctions Against Cuba and Venezuela. The Antigua and Barbuda government has known the latest round of economic sanctions against Venezuela as the United States, United States seeks to remove President Nicolas Maduro from office in the South American country. Quote to quote, this is, cer this is certainly a decision we abhor. We believe that sanctions kill and whereas uh, the United States may, seek, may be seeking to force, re force, force regime change, the reality is they are bringing extreme poverty Hardship to innocent people in Cuba, uh, Cuba and Venezuela, said Prime Minister Gaston Brown. Last weekend, the Trump administration announced its latest rounds of econo economic sanctions aiming at oil shipments between Venezuela and Cuba, which Washington has accused of propping up the Maduro administration. The U.S. delivered sanctions on vessels operated by Venezuela's state-run oil company was uh, on two international companies that transport Venezuelan crude oil to Cuba. Brown told reports that Havana could continue to count on St. John's report as a country that shared a good relationship with Cuba over the past 25 years. You recall that when Barbuda was ravaged by Hurricane Irma less than two years ago, Cuba was one of the first countries to respond. All right, and uh, record it, and I have to say big up to Antigua. Now, this is the wholeness and all those other buck dancing coons in, um, the, who met with, with President Trump and the, the slave master of President Trump recently in Florida. This is what this is the type of leaders you need, all right. All right, I mean, Cuba, Antigua, and other countries are wise enough to stay out of this, this ongoing, this ongoing coup that the U.S. is doing against Venezuela. You need more people like this. And again, I don't, um, I know a bit about, um, I don't know the state what of Antigua, I don't know the policies of Gaston Brown. I'm not, so I'm just saying to the fact that I've so it's the fact that I big up his stance here, all right, all right, because he's basically cause he's basically saying that he has the balls to say, you know what, I'm I'm not gonna be a butt lick, a ass kissing, buck dancing sambo like like certain other these countries I mentioned who met with, with um with the slave the imp, the Im, with the um the imperial order, the um the colonial regime, in the West, all right, and they're basically saying we're gonna. Stand and speak out what they don't think is Venezuela. All right, and again, this is not a defense of Maduro because I don't know what Maduro's policies are like in Venezuela, but I know the reason they're trying to see him is not due to the goodness of their heart. It's just that they want to turn Venezuela into a basically another into another slave colony, like they've done, like they've done to Jamaica, they're doing to Haiti, Africa, example, and various other places in the world that um, around the world. All right, and yes. Cuba, um, under Castro and beyond, um, and and those who came after him have st uh, sp uh, spoken out against the, the Western Empire, and yeah, they paid a price with all these sanctions. But they're basically saying that the real bad guy is the U.S. in this, though, because they basically are um are don't care. They can pretend that they are doing it for humanitarian reasons, but they just want to control the country. Like they're doing more damage to. Venezuela than what Maduro the clean Maduro is doing and I have to give up to Antigua for that though and what I hope is that the US the Western Empire all those places especially unfortunately Jamaica who's hap who's shown that we're but that we have leaders who are butter biscuit eating sambos all right rather than those than though then those who have more backbones bone they are um, right we um basically what I say is that that hopefully that in the end that US fails miserably. Alright, and it's bigger than just Trump too. I'm not just gonna put this all on Trump. Trump is basically doing what a lot of those other presidents before him, like the Bushes, the Reagans, the Nixons, and sadly even Democratic presidents like Clinton Bill Clinton, Obama, whoever. He's basically just doing what they they've been doing, that by just reinforcing the imperial order of the empire and the empire needs to needs to fall no matter how long it takes and i do hope one of the losses will be against venezuela in the end that they have some other nations apart from venezuela who are basically going to push back against the empire and that the empire fails and that's pretty much what i have to say but this is but shows antigua for having the balls that our current jamaican prime minister should have had Alright, but that's pretty much all I want to say in this recording. This will go into the state of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Also, check out my other YouTube pages as Goose and Farron, Magic Productions.